Hello everyone and welcome to an episode of Self Care. Today we are going to be making some peppermint lip balm and you'll need five simple ingredients in, or no, in order to do this. You'll need some beef towel, some shea butter, some coconut oil, beeswax, and of course some peppermint essential oil. Let's go ahead and get started on today's workshop. As I mentioned, you need five ingredients for, uh, to make this lip balm. We, I have some yellow beeswax, and you go ahead and add one tablespoon to the, your container. And this method that we're doing here is called the double boiler method, where you have a, a pan and a glass bowl. And we'll go ahead and get um, into the double boiler method a little bit later on, but let's go ahead and add our ingredients first. So with your shea butter, you just make sure I'm adding the right amount. You're going to add one whole tablespoon. And if you're using an actual tablespoon measure, you may need to get another second spoon so that way you can uh, dish out some of the ingredients because as you can see, it sticks. So one tablespoon of shea butter. And then you'll also need one tablespoon of this beef towel. You can pop these in the microwave for a few seconds to kind of soften them up. Add the beef. Most of these ingredients you can find here in town. Uh, Walmart, the La Matanja Co-op that's located in downtown Gallup or at the local grocery store. And then you can go ahead and add one tablespoon of coconut oil. And the last ingredient we're going to be incorporating is some essential oil. With the essential oil, you don't have to add too much. I'm just going to let it drop a few times. Okay. So with this double boiler method, what happens is the you're going to heat up the water. And the water itself, the heat of it is going to heat up the bowl. And in return, it's going to melt all the ingredients together. So I don't know if you can tell, but you can already see some of it melting. And then you just need a stirrer of any kind. I'm just using a plastic spoon. And you're just going to mix these ingredients. The beeswax itself was just this... Um, kind of brick and I used a butter knife to cut apart the beeswax. They also come in a variety of forms like uh, pellets. Uh, it's entirely up to you which one you want to use just make sure it is beeswax. If you want you can use your stirrer to mash the ingredients together. And as it boils, it, like I mentioned, it just melts everything together. We're just going to let this simmer for a bit. And after you're done with your ingredients, ingredients, just make sure to put back on all your lids. As far as packaging goes, I do have these lip balm containers that I bought through Amazon. You can also use an empty lip balm container that you already own or a chapstick tube. Uh, if you want larger containers than this, um, you're more than welcome to get the larger containers. Um, these small containers are a perfect gift idea. So if you aren't sure what you would like to get your family, you can always boil 
all of these ingredients together to make a simple lip balm. The beeswax is the hardest one to melt. And I'm just using my spoon to poke the beeswax so that way it melts a little faster. I'm not quite sure if you can tell, but most of the other ingredients are melted by this point. And because all these ingredients are oil based, if you want um, to add any type of coloring to your lip balm, make sure you get um, the coloring that's gel based or that it is compatible with oils. Because if you try to get liquid food coloring, which you can get at the grocery store, it's not going to mix well with the oil based ingredients. And I'm just trying to break apart these beeswax and it's kind of hard to do because there's solid chunks. Again you can kind of microwave these for a few seconds to soften them up before you boil them so that way it doesn't take as long. But uh, then again, I'm just using the spoon to poke at it, to break them apart. And of course it gets stuck to the spoon. If you have any ideas for future self-care videos, leave them in the uh, comment section down below and I'll do my research because on these episodes, I'm learning these uh, techniques from the, uh, from, from the start to finish, so the basics. I've never made lip balm prior to today. Next month for our self-care series, we are going to be making some natural uh, mascara using some organic ingredients. We're also going to be doing, um, I forgot the second topic for our self-care video. But if you visit our Facebook page as well as our website, it will be listed in our event section for Facebook or the program section on our website homepage. And it looks like all of our ingredients are finally melted down to a nice liquid. Because we are using the double boiler method, you need to be extremely careful when you do this because you might burn yourself. But what you need to do is going to lift up the glass. And what I like to do is lift the glass up and move it towards me so the steam goes the other direction.
You may need pot holders for this if the glass is too hot for you. But then all you need to do is pour your wax liquid into a disposable cup if you don't want to use one of your own cups. My bad, it slipped out of my hand. Okay, and then as far as our packaging goes, I showed you these tiny little containers at the beginning of the video. Actually, not at the beginning. Um, halfway through our demonstration. And all you need to do is just grab your cup and slowly but surely pour these the oil into the cups. If you're using a chapstick tube, it's best if you use a, a funnel so that way it actually goes into the container. And if you want to use these right away, pop them in the freezer for about 5-10 minutes so that way they solidify. And then they're a perfect gift idea. Thank you for joining me on today's self-care episode. We learned how to make these peppermint lip balms. They're ideal gift around this time of year. And I already have all of them solidified. Stay tuned as we make some more um, self-care videos in the future. Uh, be sure to stay tuned on that on our Facebook page as well as our other social media platforms. We do have Instagram as well as YouTube. We have all of our self-care episodes archived on YouTube, so you're more than welcome to take a look at those. And if you want, you can subscribe to our monthly newsletter, which is available through our website at OFPL period online. Again, thank you very much and you have a good rest of your day.